If you're trying to convert an image that you found on the internet to an SVG file for your Cricut uploads or for a laser engraving, things like that, I got two free websites for you guys here to use today. Awesome websites, anybody can use them. Again, keyword is free. So let me show you how to use them. Let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is obviously have an image, guys, right? So if you're Googling, you're on you know, Pinterest, something like that, and something catches your eye, you can easily save that image to a desktop and you can convert that into an SVG file. So the image that I'm gonna to use today is actually a quote. It's called happiness is homemade. This is for a future video where I show you how to do a stencil on a piece of wood for a wood sign. This is the wording that I use. The website that I found this on after Googling, Googling was wallquotes.com. I'm gonna leave that link below so you can go check out if you wanna use this happiness is homemade for your project at home. Again, happiness is homemade right here. You can easily just right click that image, file save as that image to wherever you would like. I already have a folder location that I have, so I'm just gonna hit save. And then from here, what I like to do on all my images is I like to remove the background on my images. Now it's already a white background, so it would be probably pretty easy to convert this as is to an SVG, but I like to do an additional step of always removing the background. It's very helpful for the little intricate parts of uh, the wordings, things like that. And since this is a black to white image, it's gonna be very easy to remove that background. The website that I'm gonna use is a free website. This is the first of the two free websites I'm gonna show you here today. It's called remove.bg. I'm gonna leave this link down below so you guys can go check it out at home. It comes in it, it comes in so handy, guys. It really does. I use it for YouTube thumbnails to remove backgrounds of things that I wanna put into YouTube thumbnails, t-shirt designs, you name it. It really does come in handy. So go check it out. Really easy to do. All you gotta do is hit upload image here. And then from here, we wanna upload that image that we used before. So what it's gonna do is, is it's gonna remove that background. As you can see, the checkerboard there means that the background has been removed. All you gotta do is hit download. That's gonna remove, they're gonna download that. Now you can put this into any folder location that you would like. I already have a folder location that I wanted in. And then from here, we're gonna convert that to an SVG. So the website that we're gonna use is picksvg.com. Again, I'll leave this link below so you guys go check it out. Again, this is the second free website that I told you that we're gonna use here today. Very easy to do. All you have to do is hit upload a picture. And then from there, you wanna make sure that you're, you, you're picking the background removed image that you uh, uh, removed the background of. And then from there, it's gonna upload the image into the website. Now from here, what you're gonna have to do is mess around with some of the settings. It's very easy to do. All you gotta do is hit the edge here. You're gonna bring that down to an edge three. You can make that, see as, it, as you can see, the edge makes it a little bit cleaner. And then from there, if you want, you can bring this down to an edge four. I think that looks pretty clean as well. So you could use either one of those as you want. You, again, you can you can play around with it as much as you want. You can hit a great here, you can hit strong. So you just play around with the settings, get it to the best that you think it looks. And then once you get to where you're happy with it, all you have to do is hit download SVG. And from there, we wanna drag our SVG file that we downloaded into our folder location that we would like. Again, it's right here. So I already had one made before, so I'm gonna delete that one. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename that SVG file right here to homemade, just so I know where it's located. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Cricut Design Space and we're gonna upload that SVG into Cricut Design Space. So now I have Cricut Design Space open. All we have to do is go to upload. Now we wanna to go to upload image. Now from here, we wanna browse. We wanna select that SVG that we saved in our folder location. Again, mine is right here. It's called homemade. All we have to do is click that, that SVG. Again, guys, we don't have to remove the background. The background's already removed. You know when you regularly just upload an image that you find on the internet, you gotta remove the background to create it into a cut file. This has already been taken care of. It's already an SVG file, so it's really simple to do. All we're gonna do is hit upload. And then from there, we're gonna take that upload and we're gonna insert that. We're gonna add that to our canvas, our blank canvas. And as you can see, once it comes over to our canvas, it's gonna look nice and neat. We're gonna blow this thing up. As you can see here, it looks great, looks clean. I'm gonna be really easy to put this onto a stencil, to create this onto a wood design. Again, you if you don't wanna do a stencil, you don't have to. You can cut this out onto a piece of vinyl and then put that piece of vinyl onto whatever you would like. So that's a great, easy, quick way to convert an image to an SVG. I wanna do one more thing here today. I wanna to show you how to create just a regular image of a logo and create that into an SVG. So what we're gonna to use today 
is obviously the Eagles logo. So on Google, all I did was typed in Eagles logo, and I was trying to look for a logo with a white background, the Eagles logo with a white background, just to make it a little bit easier to convert that into an SVG file. Now I could use this green background if I wanted to, but I'm gonna use this white one right here. All we're gonna do is click on that image and we're gonna right click it and we're gonna save that image to our folder location, wherever we would like. So it's saved to our folder. Now, again, we're gonna go back to remove.bg.com and then we're just gonna go up here again. We're gonna hit upload image. We're gonna click on the image that we downloaded and then here it's gonna remove the background for us. Again, looks great. You see the checkerboard behind there. You know that the background's been removed. And now we're gonna hit download and we're gonna save that image into our folder location. And now we're back on picksvg.com. So all we're gonna do is upload the picture of the background that we removed. And again, mine is right here. So here we go. And now this image looks a little grainy, as you can see. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to mess around with some of the settings. We're gonna have to hit edge here. We'll go to an edge four. As you can see, it still doesn't look the best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to internal one and look what do you know? Looks really good, crisp and clean. You're not gonna get the grays and the blacks and the greens. You know that when you convert something to an SVG file with the lighter background, it's not gonna be as clean, you know, when, when you convert it to an SVG. So if you're okay with that, I think this looks great. I mean, this would look great on an image, a background of a white, a, a green, whatever. It's gonna look great. So from here, I'm happy with this SVG. So from here, all I'm, on, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the download SVG again, and I'm gonna save this again into my folder location of choice. Now I'm gonna name this Eagles one, because I already have an Eagles in here as well. Now again, we're gonna go back to Cricut Design Space. We're gonna go to upload and we're gonna upload that image. Again, guys, our background's already remo removed. So this is gonna make, it just makes things like so much easier. So we're gonna find that SVG file that we saved. Again, it's gonna be that Microsoft Edge logo. We're gonna double click on that. There we go, there's our SVG file, looks great. We're gonna upload that into our canvas. Now, once we hit click on the image, we're gonna hit add it to canvas. That's gonna go, and it's gonna go right below. Our happiness is homemade, and there you go blow this thing up. It looks great. We got two SVG files now in design space. So now I'm going to show you a real quick tutorial how to make this into a stencil. So we're still in Cricut design space, guys. I'm going to show you how to create the stencil for the future video. I'm going to show you how to do a stencil without bleeds. So from here, what I like to do is I like to grab a, a background, a square, anything that you would like. I like to use a square because it's easier to stretch out. So from here, I got my square. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to unlock it. Then from here, I'm gonna stretch this out across. Now, what I like to do is I like to make my square, my rectangle, whatever I'm using, the size of the board that I'm using. The, I usually use wood, so I like to use I like to use a square or some, something like that because I'm usually cutting it into a square rectangle, something like that. So I usually like to make this as big as my board so it's really easy to make sure that it's centered on the board when I put my stencil down. So from here, if I wanted to, I can hit the width and the height exactly that I want. But for here, I just want to show you how to create this into a stencil. We have it right here, our nice rectangle space here. So we're going to hit arrange. We're going to send that back. That way we can center this into the middle of our wording here. The happiness is homemade. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to slice out the wording. So now we just have our stencil. Very simple to do, guys. All we want to do is we want to select the homemade. Then from there on our control or on our keyboard, we wanna hit control and we wanna select the square. From here down here at the bottom where it says combine, we wanna hit subtract. What that's gonna do is it's gonna delete the, the blackness of the actual happiness is homemade. And as you can see, we created a nice stencil here. It's gonna look great when it gets cut out on the Cricut. And then from here, we can put that on our transfer tape. We can put that onto our wood piece and we can stencil it on. Real quick, just to show you guys the Eagles logo. Again, we're gonna select our square again from our images. We're gonna drag that over. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna unlock it so I can make the size what I want. And then we're gonna send that back again. Now I'm gonna make that just a little bit smaller. And then from here, what I wanna do is I wanna center that in the middle of the logo again. 
then all we have to do is select the square over here and select the eagles image as well you want to make sure that you're not just grabbing the single pieces you want to make sure you're grabbing the eagles one here at the top that selects everything below it then from here you go down to combine and you want to hit subtract again that's going to delete the black of the logo and as you can see we have another beautiful stencil here it's going to be easy to uh, cut this out on a cricut i usually use oracle vinyl to create my stencils but it's going to look great super easy to do guys i really hope you guys found this helpful i this believe it or not it looks a lot easier and when you do it once you get the hang of it it's really easy to do if you have any questions on today's video i know i probably went a little bit fast please comment below i'm going to help you out if you comment below you're really confused about something i will get back to i promise because that's how i learn by reaching out to people so i want to give back i want to help out people as well if you're trying to do something like this at home so please comment below and i will get back to you if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Go Birds.